everybody and welcome back to my beauty channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. This is going to be a bright um, purple and grey colour um, tutorial. Um, if you want to hit that subscribe button it will make me really happy. Um, yep, yeah, so I've already done my eye base already using the concealer which is in light sand from Tarte and I'm using the model's preferred color basics color palette so I'm going to be using this this color here and I'm going to finish off where I was rudely interrupted by my Okay, so we have heaps of brushes. I'm going to be using a really dark vampy purple, that colour there. And I'm going to use a grey as well. So there is like a lightish grey in this one. So I'm going to be using a really dark purple. I'm literally putting it all over my... My... My eyes. I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, I don't know what's. Might just mix them. This is another series. Soon, actually, soon enough, I'm actually going to be doing a um, poker um, face um, tutorial. Basically, it's um, basically the tutorial is. Um, a really, uh, like, bright colours. So basically I'm going to be doing all these really fantastic tutorials. And if you haven't um, checked out my series just yet, I'll put it in a um, in a folder so that you guys can check it out. So I've actually gone just a little bit. Not too far when you want to do this tutorial. So now I'm going to use a. I'm going to use a grey colour on this brush. You can use whatever um, palettes you have at home. I'm using the colour palette from Models Prefer. You can also pick it up, this palette, from Priceline. They're only $15. Now I'm going back in with that purple and dark purple and I'm going to make it a little bit more a little bit more brighter. I 
I basically have like different palettes, but I thought I'd use this one because it was right in front of me. See how I've curved it out? I'm going to move that tape in a second. I'm going to literally put it on top here. You can bring the eyeshadow down towards the tape. So we're going to do that. We'll go a little bit more. Once you start blending all the colors together, then it will look really spectacular. Now I'm going to use a blending brush. So this is the blending brush. And I'm going to start blending. So what I'm doing is I'm sort of creating that arch, but I'm not put, pushing it so far up my eye so that when I'm blending, you're not bringing the brush right up to your where your eyebrows are. I'm going backwards and forwards. And I'm putting that colour. So that grey's come off. For some reason that grey came off. So I'm just going to put it back on. Too much blending takes off the colour. So we're going to have to put the grey back on. And I've noticed that it's taken off that purple undertone off and it's taken the purple colour, the really dark purple. Okay, so we need to really, 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 really be really careful of what you do because if you keep rubbing, you're going to rub off what you've just put on. My eyelid is actually, it's literally peeking through. We don't want that. So now the, the grey is stuck down, I'm just going to put more of this grey on, just to fill. It. 
you can you can use like a smoky palette which has like the greys and all that sort of stuff um, but I'm not going to do that yet I'm putting the dark purple and this on and we're not going to blend because we don't really need to Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that dark purple with the shimmers and the other purple. Put that on top of my pat that on top of my eyelid. And I'm just bringing that purple and pinky tone down a bit. Okay, so now it stops you from going too far. Now I am going to use the tape under the eyelid and you know why we haven't got the base on yet because we've I'm just going to do some more. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and 49 no uh, Neutral on a Beauty Blender. I'm just going to take these the tape off. I'm just going to do little dabs on my skin. It is a full coverage foundation as well. Go to your Sephora, um, check on their website, check on their store, go in. Ask them what um, colour you are and get it test check it out. Cause I was there for hours and hours and hours just um checking out what foundation I was and what shade I was as well um, you're better off checking what um, shade you are because there's all different types of shades there's dark shades light shades I've already done my review it's up on YouTube already And you can tell it's already dried to a matte finish already. The more times you um, pat it down with your beauty blender or a brush, the more times it oxidizes. It's actually great coverage by the way too. So I'm glad I picked this foundation up when I did. Because all the other foundations that I've tested and tried 
haven't lived up to the standards of this foundation and it's all vegan free as well so we're rolling with the good stuff not the bad stuff so now I am actually going to check if that's all this is all blended out really well for my nose underneath my chin it's all blended out um, okay so the little lid goes back on the clips on and then I just push it in I'm going in with the inflammable and it's 20, uh, 245 warm sand and I'm going to be using my powder brush I'm just going to put my powder on and this you can use as wet or dry So, slightly just put it all over. Alright. So, the next we're going to be using, I might use the Naked palette just for that, that grey colour, which is called Password. really happy with that color choice we'll use I'm using Password by Urban Decay. I'm going to use the fluffier side. Okay, so we've used that. Now I'll put that back in there. Now I'm going to use Nars Instant Cheek Palette. So this is the one I've been reaching for in my in my tutorials as well and if you want me to do a updated version of my collection videos or um, please let me know if you want me to do a um, favorites video
so that I can start prepping these videos for when they need to get done. Just so that we're warming up the face, we don't want this harsh, harsh line to be there. So it's just moving this, this colour up, but we're not... So we're just doing that. Yeah, I need my eyebrows. Okay. So we've warmed the cheeks up with that blush, it's the blush palette by NARS. And we've done the hairline as well. Alright, so now next we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm just going to dust this off. And I'm going in with Purple Horseshoe. Now it might be a very... Um, It's very glittery, but that's fine. I'm just putting it on top. The more um, glow kit that you can put on, the more it comes through. So I do have the MAC Hang Loose powder as well. Um, like all my colours and stuff, they're all in here. Um, but I'm not going to use the hang loose today just because it's well actually it's right here so I didn't really have to find it and this is their addition that they made and funnily enough I did get it Now, it's got like the pinks and the purples. Okay, so now we're going to do the lips. I might do a like a darker color. So we've got my Tarte Rainforest um, lipsticks. 
I have Escape, I have Berry, I also have Yachting. Um, so, mind you, the colours are fantastic. Try and get rid of. So, that's this one is Yachting. I might go with what I'm actually wearing, okay. Well, we do have Escape, which is a pinky, pinky toned. That won't really go with what I'm wearing. Oh, we've got Berry, I reckon. I reckon this one. And I need a lip liner, so I'm going with I'm Every Woman. I'm going in with Yachting. And whoops. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer to go back in with I'm Every Woman. Now, all I'm going to do is go back over it with that colour Yachting. Okay, so now I'm going to put my L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Collagen 24-Hour Mascara. You can wear this with falsies if you want to, but I don't. I don't really have falsies. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm going in with my Trooper Black Eyeliner.
And uh, now I'm going in with And now I'm just going to fix my eyebrows up. I'm using my spoolie. And I'm going to be using the Chichi Pomade in Black Brown. So now I need to find my little defining itch brush. There we go, I found it. Just get a little bit. Okay, and that is all I need to do guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big, big thumbs up. If you have any other um, ideas, leave them in the comments section as well. And I'll chat to guys in my next video. Bye everyone.